Uh, here we are, it's flight day 12, undocking day, and Brew is setting us up to uh, do the uh, undocking. The first thing he had to do is uh, do the uh, Group B power-up, and then uh, he recovered the IMUs for us. You can see him here uh, doing some uh, Spec 21 actions. Now we are in the uh, undocking timeline, making sure all the jets are deselected and the crew is discussing, uh, per our excellent training, what we would do uh, if we need to reselect a jet in the event of certain uh, DPS uh, failures. Logics and drivers. This is about five minutes prior to undocking. Okay, and just to be technically correct, we did the logics first and then the uh, drivers uh, per the uh, procedure. Here's uh, Pat uh, following uh, with JR. And they're working the uh, APDS steps and pushing un undocking at about 2.20 prior. Here you can see the uh, ISS separating for the orbiter. And I'll let uh, Brew take over the commentary. Okay, after the undock, we uh, slowly backed out to uh, approximately 400 feet, 450 feet, before we started our pitch around the, or uh, the International Space Station. As we moved out, uh, Danny uh, Olivas is working the uh, RPOT machine as well as uh, backing up the uh, data from the TCS, so which provides our range and range rate data. He's backing that up with, his, with some good handheld uh, laser check. View from the uh, overhead window, as you can see the station backing away very slowly. We were moving out at about uh, point, roughly 0.2 feet per second. Here's a view on the RPOP uh, computer I mentioned before, and that just uh, helps us uh, monitor our corridor and our predicted corridor. As you can see, we're flying out on the bottom of that corridor and uh, projected the angle on up. More views of a uh, very symmetrical International Space Station now as we uh, continue to back out on the uh, what we call the V-Bar. Part of our requirements was to do uh, photo uh, documentation and a complete mapping of the station, and we did that uh, as we backed out and then eventually used the 400-millimeter lens. Fly around here. It looks like as, uh, as we backed out, it was uh, nighttime, but during uh, most of the fly around, it was daytime, and so you can see it's uh, very bright now. And we are in a fly around, capturing the space station from 360 degrees all the way around. You gotta love that uh, symmetrical space station, though. Here we are at, after about 90 degrees, uh, the RPOP machine is showing us exactly where we're at. Uh, we're shooting to be at roughly 600 feet uh, above the International Space Station as we hit the 90 degree point on our fly around. So that was uh, the last time that I would, last day that I'll probably see the International Space Station for quite some time. It's, it was my home for six months, and pretty emotional event, and, uh, but I'm happy to come back to Earth. As we continue to fly around the space station, uh, every, as, as, as we go in every quadrant, uh, uh, the Commander Rick Sterko and uh, Steve Swanson are monitoring our computers up front, making sure uh, the uh, new data points are entered to uh, keep us going in a 360-degree uh, path around the space station as I kept us in position by playing uh, with inputs on the THC and the F cockpit.
Another nice view through the overhead window as we uh, continue to track around the space station to its backside. Here you can see the RPOP machine showing again where our, uh, we're on our uh, path around the space station. This is, we're now uh, through about 270 degrees and on the bottom side of the space station coming up and we're going to re-intercept the uh, what we call the V-bar about 650 foot out in front of the space station before we do our uh, separation burn. This is a, our primary uh, source of maintaining our position uh, as we go around the space station. It's a COAS, it's just nothing but a reticle, and uh, we try to keep the space station lined up somewhere near the center of that reticle as we uh, transition all the way around the space station. Looking up right now, we're looking up at the very bottom, uh, looking straight forward. We call this, uh, we're on the on the R bar. And then the uh, night uh, came and, uh, and we had another sunrise, and now you can see off the tail, you should be able to see station. Uh, the uh, station was a little hard to see, it was on the other side of the tail. And here we moved the tail a little bit over to get another view of station just off the tail as we departed it. Here you can see uh, pretty much the entire crew checking the cabin temp controller, um, number two. Number one was working fine, so we switched over to number two. <laughs> there you, if you look real close, you can see it moving. I'm sorry, but some things are just funnier in space. <laughs> After undocking, we still had a full day ahead of uh, PDRS or ARM operations. Uh, we conduct a what we call late inspection, where we take the boom out with the uh, shuttle robotic arm, and we basically remap the leading edge of the wing to the nose cap again, very similar to what we did on uh, flight day two, just to make sure there was no damage while we were docked up there from uh, MMOD. One of the main things uh, that I have to get ready, ready for before coming to Earth is just making sure my body's in good shape. I've been up here for six months, so I uh, do a little bit of bicycling as well as a little arm ergometry uh, just to make sure the heart's pumping okay. It's one of the muscles that gets a little bit weaker up here in space because it doesn't have to work as hard. Okay, this is a uh, shot. You can still see the uh, station. Uh, the uh, Mission Control Center in Houston uh, called us up and said it was about nine miles away, and then uh, we did a burn later on to move it out a little further away overnight. You can see the uh, crew has up to four views to maintain uh, clearance. Uh, sometimes the boom is out of over the uh, nose cap or uh, over the wings, and so we use the different camera views, plus uh, crew members looking out the forward windows to verify that everything is safe. Here's a shot of, uh, as you can see, I believe Danny doing just that, checking the uh, boom is just over the uh, forward. This is the Doug program developed by the uh, crew at the VR lab. To say uh, yeah, hi to Dave Holman and his team, they're invaluable for the kind of uh, robotics work we're doing up here, as well as EVA preparation. And once the inspection was done, we uh, put the boom back in place and then put the arm away, and that should be it for the rest of the mission as far as the PDRS operations. We OBSS boom, we went ahead and uh, put the, uh, SSRMS, uh, the SRMS away for the night.